So you're looking at a peculiar type of fence. What does the fence look like it's made of? It's a wooden fence. Oh, good. There's an uh, entrance. There's a gate in that fence. I want you to find that gate and tell me where it's at. Can you see the gate there? Yes. I want you to go over to that gate for me, if you will. And just okay. open the gate up. And I want you to just step on the other side of the fence and then close the gate behind you and tell me when you have it closed and secure. I've done that. Oh, good, good, good. So then turn around. There's some type of trail. Uh, yeah. You see the trail? I want yeah. you to go ahead and start walking down. it. What's the trail made of as you walk down it? It's like cobbles. Cob cobbles. Big uh, slate cobbles. Oh, very uh -huh. nice. And, and uh, if you keep going, you're going to come to uh, like a river or a stream or something like that. And tell me when you get to the water, though. I know it's down that cobbles. Yeah. Okay. Oh, very good. And uh, what is it? Uh, what type of water is that? What is that? A... It's is like it a, a... A river, a stream? It's, it's like a stream, lake. Thing. It's not really ocean. It's not an ocean river. It's like a. Okay. If you keep walking down the uh, down the side of that, you're gonna see a bridge. There's a bridge down there. Tell me when you get to the bridge. Yeah. What is the bridge? What's that made of? What does it look like? It's it's, it's like it's made the same of the. Uh, the cobbles? The, the, the gate. It's made like the gate. It's kind of the same thing. Is it a But it's just, it curves right around like a, like a letter of sheet C, but you, it's curved around. Ah, oh, very good. Does it have a railing or hand that you can hold on to? The rails are like the fence of the surrounding where the big flowers are. Similar oh. like that. Oh, nice. And I want you very to walk strange. over to the middle of the uh the of the bridge and just look over into the water and tell me what do you see lilies swans butterflies are flying oh that's beautiful you butterflies said... are big butterflies oh excellent and um what are you wearing on your feet? Just look on the bridge and see what you're standing. What are you wearing? I don't know. I'm wearing red shoes. Oh, nice. Red, shi red shiny shoes. I don't know why I'm wearing red shiny shoes. I would have oh. thought it would be no, no feet. Oh, good. No, so sort of no. like Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Then what are you, what, what are you wearing? Um... Uh, what kind of garments do you have on? It's a uh, white and blue, blue stripe kind of funny dress. Ah, oh, excellent. And then just hold your hands up and look at your arms and the color of your skin and what, what do you look like? I look like a doll, but a moving doll. It's, it's, uh... Very good. Don't question anything. What did I tell you? So you got hinges and everything? No. I mean, you look at me and you... I'm a person, but I'm a doll. A doll? Like, it's, it's, like a, no, I mean... A doll, like a baby doll, like that? No. Um, or did you say dog, like a rough rough? No, a doll, as in you... you it's... Uh, a marionette? I'm not saying this right. Just, That's okay. I I'm, a, I'm, a li I'm a little girl. I'm a girl. Oh, very good. And I want you to look over into the water and see if you can see the reflection of your face and your hair. Yeah. Oh, good. What did you? What did your face look like? Very odd. Not not how I would think. I just want you to tell me what you see, please. <laughs> It's okay. You're okay. What does your face look like? What color is your skin?
I'm not liking the picture. You're totally safe and totally protected. It doesn't matter if you like it or not. You're totally safe. Just describe it, if you will. Just a little, just, uh... What color is your hair? What color is your hair? Can you see it? Or how long is it? It's long hair and pigtails. Nice. And freckles, spots on the face, like a doll. Very good. It's okay. It's absolutely okay. Some people have uh, thought they were saw a horse or a bug. You see a doll. No big deal. Very nice. And what color is the skin on the of your skin? Pale skin. Oh, very good. And those swans. How many swans do you see? One. I want you to big butterflies. Big uh, butterfly. I'd like you to uh, ask one of the butterflies to come over because they're magical butterflies. They're very friendly and they'll talk to you. Do you mind talking to a butterfly? No. So I want you to call, say, Mr. Butterfly or Miss Butterfly, could you come over and talk to me, please? They came over, didn't they? Let it land on the railing or... Okay. Did it land? On my hand, on my finger. Oh, very good. So I want you to just say, my name is Angelina. Uh, where am I? And just see what it says. This beautiful place that you're in. Is it beautiful? It is magical. Oh, very magical. Excellent. The butterfly will tell you. Any response? Land of dreams. Ah, oh, very good. Say thank you, Mr. Butterfly, and then hold your hand up and let it fly away. That was interesting, huh? Very strange. Very good. And what about the, the, the swan? Would you like to speak to the swan as well? It's your, it's your call. You can say yes or no. No. Ah, very good. So let's go ahead and walk over to the other side of the bridge. Not the direction that you came, but the other side. And on the other yeah. side, there's a mountain beyond whatever's there right there in the beginning. But what's there in the beginning once you get to the other side of the bridge? Grass. Ah, very like a, nice. Like a field, but just grass. Ah, beautiful. And can you see the mountain from where you are? If you look up? That's okay. Is there a trail there, like on the other side, you know? Now this is lots of trees. Oh, beautiful. And there's a trail that, uh, like a pathway or something? Did you? Yes. Oh, good. And what's this path look like? Is it like the other one or the cobble one mm. or is it? No, it's different. Oh, what, what's the difference in this particular path? More like woods, more like a forest. Ah, excellent. I'd like you to go ahead and go through the forest. Do you mind? No. Nope. Oh, good. And very good. And just sort of describe the forest, if you will. Lots of tall trees. Beautiful. The trail on either side, the trail um, through the middle. Even. Oh, so it looks like a canopy, huh? Like a... A little, but not so much. It's just um, one side and one side, but a clear path. Excellent. If you keep going down the path, you're going to actually come to a mountain. Okay. And I just want you to tell me when you get to the mountain. 
And if there's anyone or anything along the way that you may see. There's a man. And where is the man at? He's walking towards the mountain. In he's front of you? Right, no, he's on the right side. He looks like a shepherd, but he's he's a misplaced. How he's very misplaced is very unusual. He, he's, he's probably he's your your guardian. I want you to say, "Are you my guardian?" Just, and he'll probably tell you. Is he your guardian? He knew I was coming. He's there to assist. Oh, perfect. Tell him thank you very much. Do you mind yeah. telling him thank you? I, I told him he just raised his right hand to his um, head and brought it down. Oh, and he brought his head down. He's, so he's much obliged then, is that correct? Yeah. Oh, very good. And ask him, uh, what's his name? Please. I'm just getting Caleb. Caleb. Uh, so you tell him thank you, Caleb. And you appreciate him walking through the woods with you. Have you made it to the foot of the mountain he yet? No. Oh, very good. And ask Caleb, uh, what is his connection with you? He'll tell you. He's assisting. Ah, uh, you're an assistant. No, he's assisting. He's assisting. Oh, he's just helping you. Ask him, does he know Hank? He's nodding. Is he nodding yes or no? He's nodding. He knows you. Oh, very good. He's not nodding like, uh, nodding as you do, yes. Is he smiling? He's smiling. Good. Excellent. So ask him how often does, does he always help everyone through the, through the woods? He assists, he assists energies. Oh, very good. Very, very good. And have you made it to the base of the mountain yet? Yes. Oh, very good. And what does the mountain look like? Is it big? Is it small? No, it's big. Oh, it's a big mountain. And I want you to go to the top of it. Is there a trail? It's not a trail. You have to climb it. And it's something that I uh, strange like doing anyway. You said you would feel strange to climb it? No. I strangely like climbing mountains. So I have to climb Oh, beautiful. And at first, before you climb it, I want you to put your hands on the side of the mountain and tell me how does it feel? Hard. It's hard. Is it cold? Is it warm? It's not cold. Okay. So is the, uh, Caleb, is he going to stay there and wait till you until you come back? Or is he going to uh, come up to the up the mountain with you. He's not coming with me. Okay, so Caleb, you'll be back, and uh, thank you for assist for assisting. What does he do? How does he acknowledge you? He's just standing there looking. Still smiling. He's smile, kind of smiling, but he's just standing like observing. Very good. So let's go ahead. Do you mind climbing the mountain then? No. Excellent. Now this is where it comes fun. Hold it. But before you climb, or have you started already? Yeah, I can get there. And... I know you started, haven't you? No, okay. I'm, I'm at the bottom. 
Okay. Oh, would you climb back down? Yeah, I'm at the bottom. I can get up there. Okay, hold it. Before you start this climb, I want you to look at yourself now. Now, what are you wearing? After you've made it through the woods, Caleb assisted you. I'm wearing um, a long... It's not a dress. It's not... It's, not, it's just some... Okay, I've got on... Like trouser thing, but it's not really trouser thing, but it is at the same time. And I've got a long um, garment over that. It's uh, like a cape. It it's like that. They put my hands through, but it's like a cape. Yeah, yeah. It's oh, like perfect. a cape. There's no shape to it. There's no shape. Okay, and what what about what's on your feet now? Um, it's like sandals thing, but it's just all uh, old leather, very old leather, kind of strange uh, sandals thing. Hey, how's that? Excellent. Um, how how did I you change that? What did I tell I you about know. asking questions? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I want you to just Thank stay you. in the scene and yeah, go with it, go with it. the flow. So now look at yourself. Are you a male or a female? Look at your hands. I'm a Feel male. Oh, so you went hey. from being a doll and now you're a male. Perfect. I think that in your makes, mind you're probably that, thinking, if I'm going to climb this mountain, I'm going to have to have some masculine. Not, I can't go up in a little blue dress with uh, red shoes. That makes a lot. That makes sense. That, I get I get it. That okay, but I want sense. you to stop trying to make sense of everything. What did I tell yeah. you from the beginning? Yeah. Quit, quit touching your face. There you go. Take okay. a long, slow, deep breath. And now this time, take it through your nose and feel the relaxation moving through your body. I don't want you to fight this. I just want you to go with the flow. You're totally safe and protected. Do you still feel the pyramid around you? Yep. Ah, oh, good. Very good. So let's go ahead and start climbing the mountain. Yeah. And I have a feeling you can climb this mountain pretty fast. I can. Oh, yeah. All right. So let me tell me when you get to the top. But on your way up, if you see anything, you know, anything on ledges or whatever that's there, just tell me if you see anything go on your way up. Flower. A yellow flower. A very little one. Um, just sticking out from a corner. Not a corner. Sticking out from um, a layer. Rock. So beautiful just, yellow flower. Just a um, misplaced, but it's there. Going up, there's crystals, crystals in some parts of another one. So did you have? Let's stop where the yellow flower. The yellow flower. Is it a single yellow flower all by it's itself? A single, single yellow flower. Oh, beautiful. Can you can you get it close enough to smell the flower? Or is it just like out of reach, but you can just see it? No, I can smell it, but oh. I can't smell what it is. I have. That's okay. And what about the crystals you were talking about? Where are they? Those at? It's like they're growing in. The, they're growing out of the rock, like uh, something. Beautiful with crystals, huh? Yeah. Do you? Th is there any that you can, like, you, you can pick up and actually put in your pocket? I'm just curious. Any of them are loose? Are any of them loose? There's clusters on. on um... Actually, if you could find one that's actually loose, your favorite one, if it's really pretty, I want you to just go ahead and pick it up and put it in your pocket. But just describe it for me first, if you're able to. Pick it up. If you're not, it's okay. How can I? How can I? Uh, quick, quick what? Oh. It up. So were you able to get a small piece? Yes. Oh, cool. Let's go ahead to the top of the mountain. Anything else if you see? Uh, did you want to ask that flower a question? 
It would be interesting. Yes or I'll no? I'll have to go back down. Okay, for down. Day, we'll, we'll catch it on the way down. So tell me when you get to the top of the mountain. There's something that I need to remember by seeing that. Uh, I won't forget, it's... believe me. Uh, um, yeah, I'm at the top. Oh, excellent. How does it feel to make it to the top of the mountain? Free. Freeing. And how does it feel? Uh, is it is the wind blowing? Can you feel it in your hair or anything? It, it, it's just so hot. Oh, not. very nice, huh? Yeah. And as you look back down, can you possibly see the field of flowers where you started at or the bridge that you crossed or the wood that you passed through if you look down? Or is I can it... see everything. Oh, you see I can, everything. I can turn right around and see that. See everything. Oh, beautiful. And now that you're at the top, um, what are you wearing now? A white robe and a belt. Kind of a belt, like a rope. Oh, very good. A white robe and a belt. How, how, um, the rope, how far does it go down? To your ankles or goes to my feet. And covers what, my feet. And what are you wearing on your feet? The same sandals as I came up. Oh, very same good. funny sandals. So that's the same. But I'm wearing a white robe and a, and a funny belt. It's kind of a belt rope. Understood. Excellent. And look at your hands this time. And what are your hands? Are you, what are the, what color is your skin? It's white. Very oh. pale. Okay. Long and fingers. They look old, though. Look. Hey, the fingers are long. Beautiful. And I want you to touch your hair and see what your hair or your head feels like. Long hair. Long hair. Stringy and long. What color is it? It's like gray, but very long, gray silver. Oh, beautiful. Men gray were... silver, long hair. Hey, I got a beard too. Oh, good. I got a long beard. Long, it's long. Like the old man on the mountain, huh? Yeah, but this one's different. It's okay. Now, as you look up in the sky, I want you to tell me when you can see some big white fluffy clouds are there any yeah. big oh good yeah, I can see clouds now one of those clouds it's going to come over to you and it's going to form it's going to shape into some hands it's going to shape into some hands and it's going to come right down where you can actually step right onto it tell me when that happens Okay. Oh, very good. And I want you to actually thank the hands for coming down and picking you up. Yeah. And I want you to just go ahead and sit back into the palms of the hand and just have okay. a seat. I already did that. Oh, very good. Very good. But the, uh, the palms are going to uh, take you to a beautiful place. A place where you can uh, meet someone who has a message for you, and then they'll bring you right back. Uh, are you ready to go? Okay. Very good. And I want you to lay back on the cloud. It's such a beautiful, comfortable. If you want to, you can even wrap the cloud around you like a warm wool blanket. And oh, snuggle no. down into the cloud. It's like you have no weight at all. And the cloud is drifting and floating, floating and drifting, carrying you with it, soft, protected, comfortable, and safe. And now the cloud is beginning to move rather quickly, and you're so comfortable, and you can feel the wind blowing in your hair. And it's moving really fast now. It's taking you to 
the appropriate time and the appropriate place at the appropriate time and space. And now the cloud is slowing down at the appropriate time and place. I want you to drift off that cloud back down, down, down to the surface. It won't be anything sudden, just like a leaf drifting gently out of a tree back down to the surface. And as you come back down to the surface, I want you to tell me the very first impression that you have as you land and the cloud will be there to take you back to the mountain when you finish with your excursion. And where have you landed? Are you standing somewhere? Or are you still drifting down? No, I'm standing somewhere, but it's, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a dark place. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Where are you? First, what are you standing on? Um... I say spikes, but it's not really. I want you to. It's it's um. Take a long, slow, deep breath through your nose, and as you inhale, everything lightens up very bright, and you'll be able to see everything clearly, and you're still safe and protected. Type of floor. Thanks. Uh, a type of floor, crystallized floor. Oh, cool. Sort of neat looking, huh? Yeah. Excellent. And what do you look like now that you've landed on this beautiful floor? What color is the floor? It looks black but it's not black it's like uh almost see-through like it's almost it's got so many different colors in it it's not black though but it looks a pure black oh uh, i think i know where you're at but i'm not gonna say very good someone is coming to greet you and i want you to just first before they come they're probably already there, but I just want you to, once again, look at yourself, look at your hands. And what do your hands look like this time? Your hands first. Uh, Excellent. Tell me. <laughs> uh, How many nice. fingers? Please share. It looks like four. Oh, very good. Four fingers. So do you have three fingers and an opposing thumb? Yeah. Awesome. And what do they look like? Are they, what do, describe them, the fingers. Are they short and stubby? Are they long? No, they're long. They're long. What color is your skin? Green. Oh, beautiful. And what are you wearing? Like a uh, cat suit. It's like a shimmery suit. Ah, oh, beautiful. And what about your head? Put your hands on your head, and don't be surprised how it feels. How does your head feel? Mm -hmm. 
Uh, a bit big. You got a big head? What about your chin? There's not much of a chin. What about your eyes? Big eyes. Oh, beautiful. If you look over behind you, there's a reflection of you. You can see your entire body, but I don't want you to be surprised. I just like for you to slowly turn and get a good look at yourself. If you were to look at yourself, what who would you think what would you think you were? Or as you look at yourself, what's the first thing that comes to mind? From your description, it seems like you would probably look like an extraterrestrial. Is that what you look like? Yeah. How does it make you feel to look at yourself looking like an extraterrestrial? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Awesome. Very good. So now that you see what you look like, go ahead and turn back around and look back at that beautiful floor. And there's someone who's coming forward and they're going to explain everything to you. And I just want you to look forward and don't be surprised and tell me who's coming forward or what's coming forward. Tall, short, light? Tall. Very good. As tall as you are? Yeah. Well, I don't know how tall I am. Well, they're going to stop at what, about 10 feet ahead in front of you so they don't get too close into your personal space. I just want you to see them and just describe them for me, please. They're very patient. They'll give you an opportunity to, to adjust. Are they dressed the same way that you are? No. How are they dressed? Like a long... Like a um, long collared, uh, um, a cloak, like a cloak, like yeah. a like a robe, like a cloak. Yeah, that's it. Like okay, a robe. very good. And do they have a collar? Is there a collar? Yeah, it's got the collar, but a funny collar. Not. It's like a sort of like fins on a uh a, on a. a a freshwater lake fish? Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Are you wondering how how can I see this? Oh, it's I don't yeah, it's just how that's funny that you're right though. I know, I'm telling you, I can see this as well. No one ever believes me until they're under and they go, Oh my god, how can he see this? Oh my god. That's okay. Get your hands out of your face. I know it's taken making you it's taking you back a little, but you're totally safe and protected. I want you to send unconditional love to this being. Just send unconditional love. And I promise you, and feel the energy as it comes back to you. How does the energy feel? You know energy. You're a Reiki yeah. master. How does the energy feel? It feels good. Before I, yeah, it feels good. Excellent. And I want them to just, they can hear me, I already know, but I'm just going to say, have them just put their hands out to their sides and look at their fingers. What do their hands look like? I want you to really get a good look. they got long fingers. It's kind of like got... Point, not points, like a... 
claws, or fingernails. No, it's like like a. Oh, good. Like a bubble, like no, like a bubble. Ah, like a, on the ends of them, huh? I, yeah, I really it, like know that. where you're at now. That's it. That's what it's like. Very good. And you're not just saying this because you've seen my videos, are you? No, this is what I'm seeing. It's like they've got. Uh, Excellent. This um, like a, like a, like a. Not a tube, like a bubble thing at the end. I know what you're talking about. I've met these entities over and, and over. And their fingers are, are uh -huh. long, long fingers. And what about their head and the, the shape of their head and their features, please? It's, they've got a, like a, uh, okay, it's like a, uh, Round kind of face, but it's not what you think. Yeah, and it's got like the bit on the extra part on the head, which is makes it like it's got teeth. Uh, not teeth faces, but an extra round bit on the head. Uh, I know what you mean. I'm trying. It's like to. Like, like your face with the double chin, except it's the other way around. It's got the, it, the, the double chin is on up. the top of the head, so it goes into the that's forehead, yeah, and then there's another it. bump on the top. It's that's okay. It. Like that. Try to keep your hands away from your face. You're totally okay. safe. Just take a deep breath. No one's going to tell that you're crying except for me. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing yeah, like you imagined, huh? Fun. No. It's amazing though, isn't it? It's fantastic. Yes, and I want you to just keep focusing on them. This person that's come forward is someone that you actually know. And yeah. they have a beautiful message for you. And that's what's really important. But I want you to tell me, just out of curiosity, how many fingers do they have with the little bulbs on the end? They'll hold their hand up. They can hear everything I'm saying. They're very patient. I'm seeing five. Oh, good. Very good. Now I want you to tell them, say, hi, my name is Angelina, and I know they already know, and uh, ask them polite, you know, who are they? And what is your connection? What is their response? Are they speaking to you telepathically? Yeah, they're telling me things that I had asked before. But I want you to tell it out loud because we're Recording, okay, yeah. and I want you to share this with me and with, you know, what we're doing. So, so from the beginning. Um, they say I'm pushy? No. Oh, okay. You're still mighty quiet. I know that's a lot. You can you have is your memory that long? It, no, the uh Okay. I know, I'm giving um um yeah, yeah. No, this is um, a good thing. Very good. Um, so just from the beginning. They'll pause and pause and let her just go ahead and say what she was going to say. She has to So please. Okay, the question. Who are they? Or who is it? Is there a name? I got Mia. Excellent. Hello, Mia. Thank you very much for coming forward. And 
How is Mia connected to you? Is it Mia or Maya? Maya. Ah, uh, Maya. I thought so. Hey, Maya. Hank says hello. She know who Hank is? I know you very well. Say that again? They know you very well. Ah, oh, very good. Hi. Very good. And, uh, how are you connected to Maya? Who's a crystal? Connection. Uh, through the crystals. So do they, uh, and how, and how was that connection made via the crystals, please? Understanding what I am. And Maya, could you please do me a favor and tell Angelina who she is or remind her who she is because she's been through the veil and she sought me out and she knows what I do. They're doing things to my head and as in they're uh, doing some adjustments. Ah, oh, very good. So has more than one uh, come forward then? There's three. Ah, uh, excellent. Well, one, but one's in front. There's put one there. So you're speaking to Maya and the other two are working on you? No, Maya is communicating not by verbal. Not Telepathically, verbal. absolutely. And, and work's been done to my head. And so, do you see them standing there, or are they literally upon you and touching you, or they're just doing the work um, sort of magically? They're, they're like, pushing energy to my head. And I'd like you to ask Maya exactly what are they doing, please? Make an adjustment. And ask them, are these just adjustments in your best interest? I know that they are, but I want you to hear it yourself. They are in my best interest. And do you mind them making the adjustments on you? Oh, no. Very I don't good. Mind. Excellent. And I'd like you to ask her, what is the, the purpose for these adjustments? And please elaborate. To speed up the acceleration for me to see. Because we're going to do this again in another session. Yes. And her vibration will be raised properly for her to be able to do this easily. Is that not, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Very good. And every time I do a session like this with someone and before I do a full session when it's all about them and this is not about me at all, could you please tell Maya who I am? And uh, she was led to me and she felt like she was guided to me. Could you please give her that story, please? And let her speak it out loud, if you will. Okay, this will be done again in the next few weeks. Ah, your adjustment? The session with you. And what about that then? The session with you will be again in the next few weeks. Okay. Okay, the head's flying now. So they finished working with you? No, the pain is okay now. It's fine. It's okay now. You had pain in your head before? No, when they're pushing energy like that on my head. 
It was uncomfortable? It's uh, heavy, but it's okay now. Oh, very good. And did they, she ask you for permission to work on you or did she just automatically start working on you? There's an agreement. And they when, have already been working on me. And when was the agreement made? Before you physically incarnated into uh, this body or of late? No, before I came here. And how are you two connected? Please. Angelina? Yes. How are you and Maya connected, please? We work together before. She has a mass, uh, she does have a message for you. I want you to go ahead and receive it before we bring you out. Well, are you going to share it? Because you know what? People come out of this and you know what they do? I forgot everything. What happened? Are you going to go ahead? You Please share, if you will. Create balance of the energies. Give off too much. I'm not creating balance. You need to create balance. Pushing too much. You, are you, uh, you're being pushed too much right now? No. Oh, remember. She's, oh, very, remember. very good. Remember. Remember. When, uh, when, when you're doing your work? Yes. Ah, oh, very good. Excellent message. So she's talking about the work that you do with the crystals and working with people. Yes. Oh, very good. Did or Have you gotten your complete message? Yes. I want you to thank her. Okay, she says, but we'll continue. I'm sorry? Okay, so, um... They're aware of something that that's going to occur on the 14th. The 14th of 2016 of, um, of November? Monday. On a Monday, they're aware of... They're aware of the 14th. That is the uh, super moon. Yeah, they're aware of an activation I'm going to be doing on that date. They're very much aware. Is that a good day for us to do our session? It would be a good day. It would be a good day? Yes. Ask Maya, is she Lars's Maya as well? Is she? Lars is Maya. She'll know what that means. She's smiling. She's just smiling. So is she the Maya from... There's a gentleman, my friend. His name is Lars, and he and I do sessions. And we've spoken to Maya several times. And I'm just asking to find out if it's the same Maya.
Tell her a nod would be nice. She's sliding. Does that not, so does that smile say yes to you or does yes. it? Yes, okay. it says yes. Very good. And ask her, is she upset with Hank? She's not upset, no. Does she have a message for me? Your work is intriguing. That your work is intriguing. She doesn't hold any. She doesn't choose to hold anything any? negative on the negative for you. Very nothing. excellent. That's a, something she's not holding, so that's good. Very good. And is there anything else that she would like to share with you before we leave this place? Remember what I am. And what she is, is verbally out loud. <laughs> I know Maya's saying it. I want you to say it, Angelina. Are you an en energetic conduit? Yes. Of love? Yes. Of the highest caliber and vibration? Yes. They know I don't like titles. I don't do... You don't have to like titles, but if you have a desire to know who you are, it's best to know it. And to, because you're physically, you're in a physical form right now. When I asked you before, what are you said? I don't know what I am. I don't know what this is doing. And I said, okay, let's go in and find out. So now you have an opportunity to find out, but you uh, refuse to even embrace it then. I accept it. Very good. Very, very good. I'm, I'm not doing this to uh, incite your ego, but I'm trying to give you an affirmation. I understand. Very good. So do you mind giving Maya a hug? Or is that too mushy for you? Uh -huh. I push your love energy to her. She does the same. Oh, very good. Maya, a real pleasure to connect with you again. We appreciate you, as always, with much love and thanks for all the information that you've given Angelina and, and acknowledging Lars and our friendship and, and our communication. Much love to you. Oh, very good. Thank you. And she is going to drift back. And you're going to find yourself looking down once again at the beautiful crystal black stone that you're standing on. And here comes the big cloud hands picking you up once again. And in one fell swoop, you're back and you're back on your back. You're sinking down into it and you're taking a long, slow, deep breath. Inhale deeply. And as you exhale, the cloud turns and it moves back really quickly back to the mountain, back to the mountain, to the very top of the mountain. And you're there in a count of three, two, and one, and you've landed back on the mountain. How does it feel to be back on the mountain? Feels good. You're free. Ah, oh, very good. And I'd just like you to look at yourself once again quickly and tell me what you look like. What are you wearing? A long tree hair and a long beard and a... 
Ah, very good. You're the man on the mountain again. And I'd like you to tell the cloud, thank you very much, cloud. And there's probability you'll be back really soon. And does the cloud take off? The cloud's gone. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. So let's head back down the mountain. And as you go down the mountain, I want you to stop at the flower. And tell crystals. me when you get to, and the crystals, yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you do you still have the crystal in your pocket? Yeah. Go ahead and place, place the crystal back on there. And I want you to address the the flower. Say hello, beautiful flower. Yeah. And what does the response do you get? Any at all? Yeah. What is your response? Oh, beautiful flower, keep shining. Ah, oh, very good. And I want you to ask the flower really quickly. Uh, the man, the the man on the mountain with the long beard and the um, that man. Who was that? The flower knows. The flower knows everything about that mountain. Yeah. <laughs> what does the flower say? I don't know what it say. What does he feel? It's, it's, um... You may sh you may share. Um, it's a, uh, uh, mm. Mm. You don't want to share, huh? I can say, but it does that wouldn't just make it wouldn't make sense. That's because you're thinking too much. The only thing that okay. I ask that you would do while you do this is to just go ahead and say whatever comes to you. It's okay. Even if it sounds nonsensical. Yes, yeah, it, uh, it does. <laughs> so just say it then. Are you, are you, uh, oh, you're thinking, oh my God, I'm going to sound. Okay, I'll okay. say it. Okay, very good. Uh. I know of another name that was used uh, since I know another name that was used, but I say the name that I know, uh, even though it doesn't make sense. Methuselah. I'll say it. Are you embarrassed? Yes. Is it a, come on now, before we get off this mountain. <laughs> Do you think all of a sudden someone's going to point their finger at you and say, ha 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 ha. They're not going to do that. Okay, let's go ahead and back down the mountain. You know I'm going to give okay. you a hard time when I bring you out of this, right? <laughs> I'm like, man, I, fine. I just did four. Oh, jeez, are you kidding me? Okay, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and back down to the bottom of the mountain. Yeah. And very good is... Uh, Is the, is the gentleman waiting for you? Yes. Ah, oh, very good. And I want you to say hello, thank you. Thank you for waiting. What's his name again?
It doesn't matter. Let's just go ahead and walk back through the woods. Is he assisting you? No. Caleb? Caleb. Mm-hmm. Is Caleb with you? No. Oh, good. Tell me when you get back to the bridge, before you cross over the bridge. Okay, through the grass. Ah, oh, good. Through so you're the through forest. the Okay. And go ahead and walk back over to the middle of the bridge. Yeah. And what are you wearing now? Are you back in the same? No, I'm... I'm wearing my clothes. I'm wearing my uh, jeans. Oh, good. So you're no longer a doll with the red... Perfect. I'm wearing jeans and uh, my trainers, sneakers, my okay. top. Excellent. So let's go ahead and cross over the bridge. Everything's... And uh, I think you're going to find the cobble pathway. And I'd like you to take the cobble pathway all the way back over to the gate. Yeah. Yeah. And have you made it to the gate? Yeah. And I'd like you to unlatch the gate and step inside the gate and close the gate behind you. Yeah. Is the gate secure? Yeah. Ah, very good. Now let's just... Walk back over to where you were in the flowers. Yeah. Now the flowers, are they still giant compared to you? Or this no, time? No, um, they're normal, they're small. Oh, very good. I, I'm, I'm taller. They're smaller. So you like start, a normal you, garden. You flower. almost did a, a Alice in Wonderland there. Do you realize that? I'll explain that when you come out. Don't worry about it. I'd like you to take a long, slow, deep breath. And I'd like you to go ahead and just lay into the flowers. Lay back into the flowers. I like that. Ah, oh, very nicely. And take a long, slow, deep breath. And feel the relaxation moving through your body. And I'd like you to, in a few moments... When you come back 